Hello everyone, it's Bubbles from Venom Fluid Art. Thank you for joining us on another amazing adventure on our Fluid Art Express and I hope you just watch the sensational Shambi. Amazing, isn't she? So, this week, I'm back to being a little bit more bright and bubbly. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to do my... Oh, now, must say, this one first came to me in a dream. And um, we did it on our student versus teach, teacher premieres together, Wombat and I. And this one is called the Sundial. So I'm going to do it on a flower shape today, something a little bit different. I figured why not. And I've got some really cool colours here. So I've got um, the fantastic, get my hand out of the way, how's that? Inferno, come on down, TLP. We love the little poogies. Then I have my Pebio, just blood red now this one originally started off as um i'm pretty sure it was mosh at one stage in its life and the wombat has pastel it up just a little bit for this occasion so that's the good thing too about having all different um pigments tube paints you can mix them up and make a whole heap of more colors and then I have this, I'm pretty sure this one's a Barnes Orange Fluoro, I'm not too sure, I could be very wrong, but awesome colour nonetheless. So then our CAs we're going to be using today, I've got my Solar Gold by the amazing Pearlex. I've got my Grenache by this little piggy. CA, oh now the camera's just not picking that one up, now hang on, let me do a move around, move around, there we can see it, gotcha, and then I've just got my, pretty sure it's an oxide black, and Australian Amsterdam, uh, Australian Amsterdam, okay Bubbles, now see so this is why Bubbles doesn't get technical, because that happens, so I'm going to say Australian <coughs> Flow Troll, with the Amsterdam Oxide Black. Yes. There we go. Got it. So what we're going to start with first, I'm going to lay some colour down in the middle. Now, this one, we start with the radial swipe. So the radial swipe, from what I can remember, was the amazing Lisa Marvin and Billy from TLP doing a phone chat one day while Lisa was doing a video. So that's how it came to be, and originally they named it the Spin Swipe, but um, at the Venom Garage, I do love the radial, just has a ring to it, no offence ladies. So we are going to start with that today, and then we're going to go on to some loaded palette knife swipes off the side, inspired by the amazing Jessica Winnerstrom. I do love her work, it is absolutely spectacular. And from what people have told me, meeting her in person at Porcon, an absolutely amazing person to go with all that talent. So one day I might be able to get over there to the States and have a lesson. It would be pretty darn cool, I tell you, if we didn't get in a lot of trouble. I think that would be the paint party to remember. Most definitely. And of course I would get to paint with my amazing art family on the Express. You know, it's pretty cool actually. We um we are family on the Express. Like the background chat you guys don't see. We are just an amazing group of friends. It's it's truly a that's really beautiful. And yet never met face to face. But we are in each other's hearts every day from all across the world. That's pretty rare, pretty rare in this world. So I cherish that, absolutely cherish that. Okay, so now I don't want to put too much on this because trial and error taught me when I first started to do these that too much paint in the centre radial wonked really wonked didn't give me the effect I wanted so I think it's like with anything we do it's all trial and error I mean everyone's got their own way they do different styles and techniques and different set of rules for this that and the other I more or less say whatever 
you, you you find what works for you and if you get the end results bingo that's all you need the rules and the guidelines and whatever I say are just there to get you started then experiment make it your own take it your way all right so we have laid a pretty good radial puddle there I'm gonna grab out a little dude for this one only because you can tell I've got um, two size tools I usually use for radials it's usually these two so I figure the best way to check when you've done your color puddle is lay your tool so it sits like that just across it and spin your spinner around so you can see that I'm covering all the color when I put the CA on this palette knife and just roll it around so you'd know straight away if you stuck that on there yeah she's going to be way too big I mean still could be really cool if you were um, going for them ghosty swipes which I do love on the outer edges but today we don't want those so I'm going to stick with this size one I'm just going to walk that back a bit because I've probably put the spinner off balance again so it's a bit warped but you know, I'd, I'd say don't t tell um, Wombat, but I'm pretty sure he'll find it when he edits this video. Hopefully before he does his video. <laughs> Alright, so now all I'm going to do is I'm going to lay a really thin layer. So you can see I can tip that upside down. Still holding it. No dripping. That's more than enough. Now I'm just going to add some of the Grenache to the black and I'm going to do just one small really tiny gold dot of the solar. So that's exactly what she looks like. Now we are going to radial. Find your point lay it down slight angle and just bring that palette knife down as you come around that way you get all that extra CA at the end now I want this to come around so we're going to sit that just like that let's go to grab some paper towel I wasn't really prepared for that was I data matter all right so that's going to keep sinking and do its thing as we load up and do our palette knife swipes now. So I do apologise if you can't see exactly what I'm doing right now. Only because I have tried to be kind and show people this. But the way we sort of work from the spinner box, I end up um, dripping it everywhere. So... My amazing cameraman will come on over, do a quick little 30 second rules, just so you can see just exactly the amount I'm laying down, so you get the big picture. And that's what we end up with. Alrighty. So now, we are going to go for the first palette knife swipe. number one now I don't want them too long yet because they are going to travel out so I'm just laying a thin layer of the black down just splotches of the Grenache and just a fine dot about there of the gold Oh, and I bet you the camera just picked up me dropping that. Cool. Good to have fumble hands, right? So you can see I'm just snaking it down. And there we go.
Next one done. So I think this one's a pretty cool process too for people that are learning and want to practice their palette knife swipes and, and their radials. You get to do both in one, which is pretty cool. And as you can see, well, what I was laying down with the colour, you're not using a lot of colour and paint. So if it doesn't sort of work, it's no big deal because you haven't wasted much. And these days we've got the amazing Poscas and paint pens and we've got the um, fantastic brand, the Surf Paint Pens. They're just so vibrant and beautiful. Um, I'll get Daz because he's an affiliate for them, so ambassador. So we'll put his um, discount code up if anyone wants to give him a try. But um, I have found the difference with the paint pens compared to some of the other brands. I noticed some of the other brands, you have to actually go over your colours a few times to get the depth that you're actually searching for just so you're not seeing the the pore underneath but um, these ones just the pigmentation in them you're like yeah one go done which is pretty cool saves you money in the long run too because you don't have to use double it's a good Australian brand out there check them out you can see their work all over Instagram and Facebook but yeah highly recommend them just an awesome, vibrant, cool product. They come with like a, a double-ended tip, so one side's one mil, but you can buy, buy replacement tips too. So if you find that, because I really love the Posca um, 0.7 mil for nearly everything I use. Oh, I've got a blobber on that one. You little bugger. That's all right, we'll work with that. But yeah, so with the tips, you can actually um, grind them down and make them a bit smaller, which is pretty cool too. And because the other side's thicker, it still fits straight back into the pen nice and easy. All right. One more to go. can't believe I did that to that one. It had a little bit skew whiff, didn't it? That'll teach me for trying to be tricky and talk and plug and do it all at once. I got this. I was about to say if all else fails you just do a radial over the centre. I already did that. I need to get a backup plan now. Alright. Last one. There we go. Now what I think we'll do is I'm going to quickly, excuse me for a moment, put my lids back on my colours so when I spin it I don't get all the paint through my colour. Oops. Yeah, Bubbles is knocking stuff again. I know even more why I say sorry now. Should be used to it. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty then. Let's get this magic skewer rocking. Now, I think what we'll do here. There we go. And so there's really nothing tricky to this. Everyone can have a go at it. You can see it's just simple patterns. Try not to blob it like Bubbles did on this one, but that's all right like that now. We may have fixed it. I shouldn't prematurely celebrate, right, because I haven't spun it yet. But you know. You know, right? Okay, 
Now. I'm just going to walk the spinner. I've got to stop there because they're really cool. Them little bubbles. Don't want to kill them. Now we'll go back the other way. So you can see I'm just weaving in and out of the pattern that I just did in the opposite direction. I'm going to go around that one again. I can't help it, I really like that little bit right there. Alright, so that is where we're at right now. Thought I'd better share that before I spin it, just in case it goes bad. Can happen. But this is the bubble sundial. Have a go. Really is fun. Now, this is probably the only time too you'll see bubbles spin slowly. And it's because with all them loaded palette knife swipes, I really, really, really don't want to distort them too much. But I do want them to open up. Here they come. See that, that crazy word that us artists despise? Patience. It's in there in some of us somewhere, I tell you. Maybe not always. It's like with Poscas. I got the world of patience to sit down and do that all night. But um, other things, not so much. It's like I want it now. You know what? I think that is spun out quite enough. Tell you what, I could even next time, and we might go back and do that, I would have done it if I had a black base with that gorgeous Grenache CA. Could you imagine the swipes around the outside with the cells? Mmm. There we go. To be continued. So, I'm going to pick this one up. Wipe its bottom like Nathan from the Fine Art Distraction has taught me very well. It saves you a lot of heartache later when you go back and it's kept dripping off the edge because you didn't wipe its bum. So then it's on you. So don't get too excited doing that happy dance. Before you walk away, always wipe its bum. Alright, so that is it for me this week, guys. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you give it a crack because... It is really, really, really cool and fun to do. And um, I'll tell you what, if you do, give the blues a go too because blues look really cool on this. And I know um, Wombat did an amazing fluoro. Oh, ho, ho. Yeah, it was a stunner. I'll um, put the link up for that student versus teacher so you can see the very original ones where it all began. So up next after me, we have the amazing dynamic duo of my big brother Tony and my amazing loving big sis Kat. Couldn't adore them anymore. If you haven't subscribed to their channel, make sure you do guys because they are an adventure. They are just an amazing, amazing couple. Couldn't love them anymore. Same with my whole Express family. Beautiful people. So that is it for me. So until next time, take care, stay safe. And I will see you in the next one. Have a fantastic day, guys. And as always, thanks for watching. We greatly appreciate it.